Hello and welcome to Robot Systems. My name is Church, and today we're going to be looking at this EVGA GeForce GTX 980. This is the super clocked edition, and this is based on the reference design from NVIDIA. This is NVIDIA's Maxwell GPU, and that means better power savings versus the 700 series, better performance versus the 700 series, and just an overall different architecture to better take advantage of DirectX 12 and some new NVIDIA technologies. We'll go over some of the things that come with this graphics card. You get an EVGA notice about downloading the new drivers. This is printed off by EVGA because they wanted to have it out there. You can see this is new because they still have a 700 series booklet on how to install the card. So not even a new 900 series booklet yet. And then the user manual. We also have a VGA and to, a DVI to VGA adapter for terrible reasons. Um, we have a two Molex to one six pin adapter and then another two Molex to six pin adapter. And we have an EVGA badge right there. We have some enthusiast built EVGA stickers. And then we have an EVGA poster which is big and hasn't changed in a couple generations so not much use going over that. It's an interesting poster. Here is the card itself. This is the GTX 980. This is the reference design card. You can tell that this card design hasn't changed much since the 700 series. It has this nice shroud on it from NVIDIA. It has a propeller fan, so it's going to pull air in and then exhaust it out the back, normally a little bit into the case, but not a, a heck of a lot. And then you can see the black fins on the inside, and that goes all the way into the vapor chamber there. It's been around since the 700 series. The 780 Ti has this same chamber, so does the uh, Titan. It's a very nice design. Uh, there, are, there will be improvements. There will be two and three fan designs soon, so you should watch out for those too. But the reference design is still pretty good. And what's new about this card is that there's a reference backplate now. So NVIDIA actually designed this card to include a backplate, which is the first time that's ever been done on an NVIDIA card. So that's actually really, really cool. This card uses two six pin power. One of the benefits of having a Maxwell card is that it uses less power. I have a 750 Ti in my computer and it doesn't require any extra power at all. It just uses a PCI 75 watt lane. So it's really nice that NVIDIA is innovating like this and really decreasing the amount of power it takes to get the performance you want. There are SLI connectors, so you could do four-way SLI. And the nice thing about that is that you're not gonna need, you know, a 1500 watt power supply to run four-way SLI because of the Maxwell architecture. So that's also very nice. The connectors for display are a DVI, which includes the analog. That's why they give you the adapter. Then you have a display port, an HDMI, and two more display ports. So there are a lot of outputs that you can put on this, push on this. So the HDMI is 4K. You can run 4K off of this card very easily. All of the display ports as well support 4K. So now we're going to take this card, install it into a computer, and then give you some benchmark numbers. A few moments later. Now the card is installed in its new home. It is replacing two GTX 760s in SLI, and we'll show you the performance difference in 3D Mark's Fire Strike and Fire Strike Extreme. I hope you enjoyed the benchmarks. The GTX 980 and its little brother, the 970, are available now in our systems as well as in major retailers. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave a comment about 
what you think about the power savings that these cards have. It's really amazing how much performance you get with how little wattage you actually have to use up. Have a good one.